You're here. I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pants. I'll get you something nice when we get back to Alliance Space. I've gotta have some back pay coming. What about your crew, acting captain? Total loss. The toxic food turned them wild. They propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior. Waiting for a chance to signal has been hell. That's the best you can do? You let all your people talk back like that? <laughs> Who are you exactly? Commander Shepard of the Normandy. I believe you're acquainted with Mr. Taylor. Taylor? Jacob? No. Not Jacob. Why not me? Would ten years of this look better to anyone else in the galaxy? You have to understand. This isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure you were taught right. Before I left, I hoped to leave it at that. I'm not unreasonable, Captain. But ten years? What happened? God damn it! Why did you do this to your crew? There was resistance to the plan. Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order. And things settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? And they were grateful for guidance. Like an instinct. Pure authority was... Easy. At first. Months in, the effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial. Rank, protocol, they couldn't understand. We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten years in a juvenile fantasy? I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea. You didn't feel any responsibility to get out of here for the sake of family? I gave him a good start. He was a smart kid and was better off not following me. We figured that out a long time before I took jobs in deep space. And after things escalated here, it seemed best to just disappear off the galactic map. Till you needed someone to save your ass. The stores from the ship couldn't last forever. You had to know this would end one day. Dining for one can really stretch things out. Besides, I can think of a lot worse retirement plans than stripping down and joining the droolers. That was before the hunters, of course. Dumb or not, I'd feel it if they got their hands on me now. They want blood. I'd prefer to keep it. <laughs> it's all about you. Everything. What triggered the males to change and threaten you? This planet has some strange cycles to it. I've seen some plants around I never saw before. Odd weather. Maybe some just adapted a little too well. And if you treat them like animals, big shock. They become animals. What happened to the other officers? Anders found his conscience a little late to step back. He had an accident. Things got tense. End of the day, I was the one with the mechs. I got a little basic in setting examples. But I was kind to my people once things settled down. Seemed like I'd earned some peace. You fought over people like they were toys. Things. We can help these people. Cerberus can have ships here in days and pull everyone out. He's not worth the fuel to haul him out or the air he's breathing. He's damn lucky I don't think he's even worth pulling the trigger. I don't know who you are, because you're not any father I remember. Maybe we go arrange pickup for the rest of the survivors while the acting captain deals with the hole we punched through his mechs. Now wait, I'm supposed to get rescued. The crazy ones, you don't know what they'll do to me. We can guess. My father was a different man, Shepard. A good man. Wish I'd found him. Jacob! You are a better man dead. As far as I'm concerned, you still are. Jacob!
ships are inbound to pick up survivors, Commander. We can be long gone by the time they get here. Don't even give them the taillights. Roger that. What do you mean it wasn't you? Jacob, if I had leaked the information about the Gernsback, I would be smiling at your resolution of the situation. I am not smiling. Nothing goes through this ship, my ship, without a report to you. I had no more reason to believe Jacob's father was alive than he did. But I'm happy to know the situation is behind you. Fine. You didn't forward it. So who did? I did. Figures. Who else could get into Cerberus channels? It was hardly classified, just obscure. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. Shepard, Jacob. You good with this, Jacob? It's all bull, Shepard. Captain Taylor's body has some catching up to do, but the man died a long time ago. I've already dealt with that. I guess he was a good enough father that even he can't screw up what he taught me. You had no idea Miranda was behind this? No, she's got a good memory. Selective, but good. I haven't thought about those days in a long time. Can't figure which promise she meant, though. Not sure I really want to know. She requires a better man than I. Come on. We've got work to do. Aye, Commander. Shepard. Thanks for the help. Anytime, Jacob. Thanks for diverting to the Gurns back, Shepard. I appreciate being able to clean up that mess. And don't worry, it will not affect how I do my job. It's over. I'm interested in getting to know you better. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. We'll talk later. Commander. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Jack would like to see you down in her hidey hole on the engineering deck. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here. Jack would like to talk with you, Commander. I got thoughts, like little bugs crawling in and out of my head. I can't stop them. You know I have a history with Cerberus. You know how far back it goes? I'll listen to anything you have to say, Jack. Your pal, the elusive man? Never seen him before, but Cerberus raised me. First thing I remember is my cell door in a Cerberus base. They did experiments, drugged me, tortured me. Whatever chance I had to be normal, they stole it by trying to turn me into some superbiotic. The doctors. The other kids. Every one of them hated me. They let me suffer. What did they hope to gain by torturing a little girl? It was something about pain breaking down mental barriers and how it might clear the way for a more biotic power. I'm sure there was a payoff due at some point, but I wasn't going to see it. I was wired up in a cell. They tortured you just to see if they could make a strong biotic? That's it? Wasn't in a position to ask, Shepard. All I know is, 
A little girl crying in a cell, begging for the pain to stop. How did you get out of there? There was some kind of emergency, and I made a break for it. The other kids came out of their cells and attacked me. So did the guards. I just killed everything in my way and ran. Guess my biotics had developed faster than they thought. I managed to get a shuttle off the ground. Drifted until a freighter picked me up. The crew used me, then sold me. That's my uplifting escape story. There were other children in the base? I didn't know much about them. I was kept separate. They hated me just like everyone else there. When I broke out, I had to fight through them all. I showed them. But there's a loose end I need to deal with. You're absolutely certain that Cerberus was running the facility? I was a kid, but I wasn't dumb. I know how to listen. It was Cerberus. Don't care how far down the chain it was. They thought they were so clever. Turns out, mess with someone's head enough and you can turn a scared kid into an all-powerful bitch. Fucking idiots. I'm gonna talk to the elusive man, and he'd better have some answers. He'll just deny everything. That's not what I'm after anyway. I found the coordinates in your files. I want to go to the Telton facility on Pragia where they tortured and drugged me. I want to go to the center of the place, my cell. I want to deploy a big fucking bomb, and I want to watch from orbit when it goes. You've lived with this your whole life. Why do this now? Like I said, I found the coordinates in your files. You can't expect me to just sit on information like that. Attacking our allies is going to derail our mission. Not a smart move. The files say it was shut down after my escape. It's been abandoned for years. They going to care if I blow up a garbage dump? I'll set a course for Pragya. I owe you, Shepard. <laughs>